Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's video, which is a new morning routine. Uh, we are enjoying our summer holidays in the Netherlands and since I got quite a few requests for a morning routine video, I thought I would share this um, summer edition. So for a few months already, my husband and I, um, we live apart. Uh, after work, he sleeps in our new house so he can do some work there in the evenings and I stay at home with the kids. Uh, we are moving soon and these times can be stressful, so we made a very clear schedule and we divide all of the tasks between us so the kids know exactly what is going on um, they know that they will see their dad only in the weekends but during the week it's me they have to deal with uh, so far this was a good decision because even though we are very busy we're trying to stay calm and take one step at the time um, my eldest son really took advantage of the fact that my husband is not here so he sleeps with me every night uh, but I don't have a lot of time to myself so I try to squeeze in a little workout every single morning um, at night, I'm simply too tired and during the day, I'm too busy with the kids. Uh, so my kids are allowed to have some screen time in the morning so I can get myself ready. Here you see me doing um, a little kettlebell training. I still need to lose seven kilos. Uh, the quarantine did me no good and the busy lives we are having at the moment are not helping either. Um, so our new house is almost a two hour drive from here. So we spend a lot of time in the car and you know, we often have takeaways or I order in some food or lunch. And you know, as soon as school starts again, we're going back into some kind of rhythm. I desperately need to work on my body because I'm not really happy the way I look now. Uh, I've never really been skinny or anything and you know I have a very burgundy lifestyle I like food and wine and all that but you know you can't have it all so now my youngest son Julius is awake he's three now and because the nights are really hot the kids sleep only in underwear or a diaper um, Julius is potty trained uh, during the day but not yet in the nights and there's no point to work on that right now because moving is so stressful um, so there is a big chance that if he's potty trained now he will fall back and you know we'll have a lot of accidents during the night so we just let him wear the diaper until we are settled in and he's used to all the new changes in our lives um, yeah and while they watch a video or play a, a game on the on the iPad I quickly go and have a shower uh, I normally take a shower in the evenings um, but now it's simply too hot I take a shower twice a day um, only short ones because it's valuable tap water in the Netherlands that runs through the pipes so um, yeah we should not waste it after brushing my teeth I hop into the shower and I always wipe the shower dry with a squeegee after I showered uh, and I'm teaching my sons to do the same. Um, this way we try to keep the humidity level as low as possible so we don't get a lot of mold or mildew in our bathroom and it makes cleaning just so much less time consuming. Um, if you want to get some more bathroom cleaning hacks definitely head over to the video I made about that. Uh, I will link it in the description down below. So I don't typically wear makeup every single day and in summer I don't like uh, a thick layer of foundation on my skin um, but I use this tinted moisturizer and then I use the Maybelline concealer for my darker uh, under eye circles and to give it a bit more like some color variation to my face. Uh, I like to blend that in with my Real Techniques 200 brush. Um, I have hooded eyelids and some puffy under eyes so I think it won't take long before I need to get some plastic surgery. Uh, I'm thinking about an eye lift for already a long long time but I have been postponing and I don't know why. I worked in an eye clinic and I could literally convince everybody to do it but myself you know I'm, I'm such a chicken I just I'm, I'm afraid to do it. On my eyelids I use a MAC palette with the colors copper plate and cast iron and I'm really pissed off because they took this palette out of the collection and the colors are not available any longer. So you know it's always like that when I find a product that I really like they stop making it so it really pisses me off. Um, do you also have this problem or is it just me? I don't know. Um, yeah, so I use the Dior Show Maximizer as a lash primer and then um, the Lash Princess Mascara from Essence. Ever since it got discovered on YouTube, I love it. Um, yeah, is there a product you guys cannot live without? Uh, since I have kids, mine is definitely dry shampoo. Uh, this probably saved me a million times from coming late to work in the morning. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what is your favorite beauty product. Um, by the way, if it's your first time here on my channel, I would hereby take the opportunity to thank you for clicking on my video. I'm really excited that you want to spend the morning with us in the Netherlands. Um, I'm a mom of three. Uh, beautiful children and I post a lot of mom content so if you want to see some more of us uh, consider hitting the subscribe button down below it is free and I would love to have you around 
I just opened the windows to get some fresh air and fresh energy in the house and I also like to air my bed for a while. Uh, I don't make the bed straight away in the morning. I think it's more hygienic to let it like breathe for a bit. Uh, but I will be back soon to make my bed because it is definitely true what they say. At least um, when you make your bed in the morning, you have accomplished already one small thing in the morning and that will lead to uh, another thing, that will lead to another thing. So it really works to um, set the right tone for the day. Uh, yeah, then it's time to get my youngest son dressed. The other two are already downstairs. Uh, to make our mornings a bit smoother, we have a rule that we get dressed before we go downstairs for breakfast. And on school weeks, I prepare the kids' outfits, um, but now in summer, they just pick something they like and then they get dressed themselves. Things will unfold if you keep on waiting. But then you came along and proved me all wrong. I was so mistaken. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free. Oh, my sweet baby. So stuck, I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing But with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson My eldest son really loves to help out in the kitchen So he wanted to make some omelettes while I emptied the dishwasher um, Editing this video and seeing my kids from this perspective I realize how lucky I am to have these beautiful people around me and sometimes we're just too busy to see everything we have, so it's good to take a moment to be grateful. And I think to myself, and I'm thinking out loud, we won't need nothing else for the rest of our time, and I know it so well. I'll always be by your side Here I prepare the rest of the breakfast um, Some bread and fruit And yeah, I love my good old filter coffee in the morning I can't start my day without um, I'm also having some strawberries Always wash them first before cutting up the green crowns Because otherwise they will soak up all the water And uh, they just simply don't taste as good So then I asked Charles to go and look for his younger brother Julius because it got a bit quiet in the house and that is usually a sign uh, that I need to check out what my kids are doing. But today he was so sweet, he just climbed in his high chair himself and he was just waiting for the breakfast to be served to him. Um, yeah, we love to eat breakfast all together at the table. I think it's really uh, a nice moment all together. And now when the weather is really nice, we like to eat outside as much as we can. Um, my youngest son Julius has his own chore. Uh, he has to make sure he gives the uh, vitamins to his brothers, uh, a task that he takes very seriously. He never forgets. Uh, when I forget, he always reminds me to hand him over the vitamins so he can give them to his brothers. Um, yeah, it's really cool to see also a younger child that he's picking up with the, the, the tasks and the chores uh, to help out with the family. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands It is a special day for Julius today, he's saying goodbye to the daycare um, We are moving so this is the last day and I'm a bit emotional about it For more than uh, 10 years they took great care of our children And you know the moving day was still far away but then suddenly the last day is there And we need to say goodbye and I really hate saying goodbye to nice people So on school days we are always in a hurry, um, I'm actually running through the house all the time but during the summer I really like to take the time 
for breakfast, uh, take time to chat with my children, uh, give them some real attention. You know, I really love those, you know, laid back, relaxed mornings when we have time for each other. Uh, we don't have to rush for school or anything. I really, really enjoy these moments with my kids. Despite the heartbreak you costed me Cause you were with me through my nights And you filled the darkness with shining lights yeah. Baby, we're children of summer We're meant to be free to clean up the mess from breakfast uh, I got a little help even though things don't always go perfect in this household um, I love my aroma diffuser by the way um, a good and refreshing smell in my house is so motivating to me a good scent in my home can really make me happy so I evaporate a lot of different essential oils and they really help me relax they help me with migraine or other type of headaches um, yeah and I also mix different oils together so if you're interested in my blends and everything let me know in the comment section down below because I'm more than happy to make a more detailed video about that. And wherever you are, I think it's here you were. Because we're not really in a hurry this morning, I get to do a little bit of extra cleaning. Uh, I use a bit of green soap for this just because I like the smell of green soap. It reminds me of my grandmother's house. Uh, she always used to clean with green soap, and you know, compared to other cleaning products, uh, green soap is much more eco friendly. So yeah, I, I'm wiping down my countertops um, with the soapy water and then I give my sink a bit of a scrub with a brush. And then it's time to put on the kettle to boil some water uh, because I love to come home to a nice and fresh smelling home. And I'm going to do my Zoflora trick uh, like I do almost every night and sometimes in the morning also. So what I do is I close the sink, I add an, a capful of Zoflora, uh, my favorite scent is lemon zing, and then I add some boiling water to it and let it steam away. And then when I get back uh, after 10 to 15 minutes, my house smells so amazing. I really love of flora i know you cannot get it in america but in the uk it's really famous uh, because of this mrs hinge uh, i think she's, this is one of her favorite uh, cleaning products and i made a special video about zoflora in dutch so if you haven't seen that one check it out i will link it down below in the description as well Yes, as promised, I'm back upstairs to make my bed. Um, when I walk into a tidy bedroom later on that day, I'm always so happy that I turned this making my bed thing into a, a habit. Uh, in my head, there is always a lot of chaos. I'm a very chaotic person and a tidy bedroom, you know, somehow it calms me down. It is something that I've already achieved, something off of the to-do list for that day. And uh, you know, I, I don't know, it, it, it feels relaxing to me. Thank you. 
and then I close the blinds and the curtains of the master bedroom uh, because it's going to be a very hot day and I'm going to try to keep the heat out of the house for as long as I can and this room is really the first one to get all the sunshine right in front of the windows so uh, yeah this is really a room where the temperature gets really high and yeah then it's time to go to daycare I brought some uh, treats for the children and some flowers and chocolate for the teachers uh, yeah so it's time to go time to say goodbye so here we go And uh, yeah, that's that's it for our morning routine video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new, consider subscribing. Um, yeah, see you next week. Bye.